Hi guys, what's up? So today, today I'm going to be reviewing more Disney Pixar cars, but this time we're doing something different. We're not going to be reviewing, you know, the big ones today. Those will be in another, those will be another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing is the 2020 and 2021 Oh, sorry about that. God damn, I'm so sorry, guys. Anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing it. It's the 2020 and 2021 Disney Pixar Cars Mini Racers. Why the hell I'm reviewing this? Well, they're tiny, they're cool, they're awesome, and plus we can get we cannot get some of the racers at the you know the at the main one series. Mostly, one of the racers is Cyber Cyber. It's the cover cyber racer, so yeah. So where do I get this? Well, I got this at my local HEB. I got all five of them, except one of them I found outside at HEB. So this is what it looks like. The this is what it looks like. One of the boxes right here. This is the series two for 2021, and I show you everything right here for this line. You can see all everything right here, even the new models for 2021. Got Mac, buried to pedal. Rusty's Ramon and the I forgot her name was but this is the Dynago chopper right there and you got the other other characters right there well, For me, I only care about is getting the racers because there is the same thing around it You can see the, every you can see it right here. This is the 2021 version because it have Jackson Storm The 2020 version is have Cruz. No, it has Mater not Jackson Storm. Sorry about that and the 2020 have Cruz Ramirez so yes these things cost about two bucks, and that's a good price of it, if you ask me. But wait, where is it? Well, I have it on the side with me. I'm not going to throw away the bucks, because I need it. So, I have here is six racers. Is five, wait, one, two, three, four, five racers from Series 4. Yes, Series 4, because I have a list with me of this, of, I have a list with me. Of of it, if you want uh, if you want to know what the list, if you want to know the link of it, I'll leave the link in the description down below. So yes, I have a list with me, and I have one 2021 mystery mystery one right here, mystery boxes. So yes, so this right here to my left is 2020, and to my right 2021. So sadly, I only have one 2021 diecast, and this is the Florida Ramon that I found outside at my local HEB. So yeah. No, I didn't open it up. I just found it outside. So yeah. So let me do. Let me show you the two of them, two versions of them. So here it is the 2020 mystery uh, mystery box, and here we have the 2021 mystery boxes. So these two are the same thing. Only differences is you know they switch it a little bit. So yeah, but this is pretty cool. Here it is what it looks like. Now for the 2021, we'll have we'll say the metal. The 2020 will just have say metal down here, which is pretty cool. It's the same thing, well, minus you know, right here. So yeah, it's the same thing like all of them around it, and yeah, and plus, not only that, they will have a number behind it. Like for example, this is number 30, 37. Who's who's number 37? Well, I don't know who, but for Florida Ramon, this one right here, this one is number 39. So yes. So, since our Florida Ramon is already, you know, out loose, let's put him to the side for now. Well, let's put him in the back anyways. So, so I can open them. So I can open all five of them here. Wish I forgot to get my X-Acto knife. I'm always that stupid because I always forgot this one item. An X-Acto knife. And yes, you could call me a jackass, dumbass, or anything. Well, guess what? Screw you. I'm just joking. Don't don't play with sector knife, okay? If you do, then you're an idiot. Anyways, enough about that. Let's open it up. All of the boxes here, all of them. So let's start with this one right here. Let's move this to the side. Now let's see what which one I got. This is number thirty-seven. So let's carefully open the box without damaging it. So the box is like this. I know there's no tape on it, but 
don't want to damage it. I don't want to damage the box of it. So this is the only way to do it. This is my way to, you know, open these up. You can destroy the box um, that you guys care about. You guys don't care about the boxes, but I do. Why? Because I want to do it nice, simple, and perfection. See, there you go. Now let's see who we have for today. Wait, something put. Oh, I got a blind spot. And for some reason, blind spot is on a little sit block bag. Okay, that's kind of weird. Because here's the thing. This is loose. This is on a mini sit block bag. Okay, that's kind of weird, but also cool at the same time. I'm going to use a sit block bag for, you know, putting away, you know, small accessories for the, you know, the Kamen Rider RKF figures. But let's put... Let's put the zip lock back out of the way, and guess for the box, uh, I guess we keep the box in here, just in case. But here it is, blind spot. I don't have the actual version of the blind spot, the big version of it. I still need her, so yeah, and yes, blind spot is a she, so here, here she is. I will, I will show all of them, no, you know what, no, I'll show them right now. So the paint is called the detail and blind spot looks cool. The blue, pink, and a little bit of hints about, you know, black looks cool. Set number 10 right there. I know it's kind of small, like, like like I said, but it said right here, Mystic Body Shop. And I can't describe this one right here. The camera's kind of fo it's not focusing. It's right there. My hands are shaky. But here it is. Dent. This, this. I can't even say it. It said Dent Me right here. Pretty cool. Same thing on the other side. Here she is, all serious. The little pipes that she have is made of a soft, made, made of almost a soft rubber plastic. She does roll pretty good. I want to mention one thing: does roll pretty well. Now for thirty nine, we have Florida Ramon, which is just a repaint of Ramon, but this time we Ramon have a Florida paint right here. The peach color with the red and a little bit of hints of blue like blue line of him looks pretty cool i only care about the racers but when i saw ramon at the ground outside i had no choice but to save it save him so yeah ramon was pretty cool i know someone who's named ramon um i hope he's all right i'm just you know worry about it anyways ramon looks pretty cool all right now we could get on number 82 no eight, 42 sorry not 82 I do want to get, you know, the three packs of it. I do want to get, you know, the three packs and the other multi-packs because I said one of the 15 packs comes with Will Rush, the next-gen racer for Team um, Vinyl 2 Play, which I already reviewed the one, that one, but a his the mainline series, not the mini racers version. So I do want to review that one. Let's not damage the box. I'm cutting the box by accident. There we go. Okay, I kind of cut off the wrong part right here, but eh, don't care. There we go. So let's see who we got today. I guess um, throw it away the small piece of paper let's see who we got oh I got Todd Throttleman from team Mood Spring from Cars 3 yes I got Todd Throttleman from team Mood Spring and this uh, I do have my original one but it's in storage so I cannot do the comparison with but here it is the details of it of Mood Spring right here pretty cool by the way, this is the which one version? Which version is this one? This is a Taiwan variant, copyright 2006-2017. So these are just you know re-releasing, just re-release diecast on a Cars 3 you know show. You can see uh, all the sponsorship right there. Light year and mood spring, everything show right here. Pretty cool. Top Rodman looks cool, and I love you know the the shade of blue they have off camera. Is they have a different darker blue, but uh, it's like a light blue. 
but not like, you know, regular, and on camera it's look like darker. It does roll pretty well, I want to mention one thing. And plus, he have a good weight, good weight on him. So pretty cool on Todd Jottleman. Next box, we have 46. Oh, this one is it's in tape. I don't know why they use tape of it. It's kind of weird. Let's see who we have. Oh, I got Jack the Pedal. Did I say his name right? Let me check the list. Jack the Pedal. Oh, Jack the Post, not Jack the Pedal. Jack the Post. Oh, sorry about that. So I got Jack the Post right here with me. And also, if you guys already heard, from the Cars 1 version of Team Toe Cup is coming for this year. So I'm very excited for it. Even the next gen racer of, of number 93. I'm happy for it. So here it is, Jack, what he looks like. Pretty cool looking Team Toe Cab right here. Pretty nice. I love it a lot. The purple with the white. A little bit of hints of yellow on him. Pretty cool looking on Jack. He does roll pretty well. I want to mention one thing. All of them rolls so well. I hope we could get like, you know, small version of the haulers from all the racers, from all the Piston Cup racers. So we have the last for the last box for Series 4. And we could get it on with the final box on which is the 2021 Series 2. So yeah. Hopefully I won't hurt myself. Also, before I continue this, if you're new for this channel, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for this channel and my gaming channel link in the description down below. Also, leave a comment down below, who's your favorite Piston Cup racers? Who's your favorite racer from the Piston Cup series, from the, from the Demolition Derby series, the Thunder Hall, or the Jack, or the Doc Racing Day series? So yes, even the next gen racers too. So yeah, leave a comment down below, who's your favorite Piston Cup racer, so... Come on. There we go. Let's see who we have next. Oh, I got Dr. Damage. Sweet. Okay, so I can't even find a deluxe version of I can't even find a deluxe version of Dr. Damage. I I was gonna buy him, but I couldn't, but I don't have enough money for it. So yeah, so this is my first Dr. Damage die cast. Here it is, Rumbulance number five right here. You can see the car with the X on and the eyes. Looks pretty funny. Ambulance right here. And of course, his siren doesn't work, so he just saying beep boop beep boop. Yeah, he's crazy. Look at him. He's a, he's a fucking nutcase. Dr. Damage right here. Rumbulance. His face right here. Got the number five on the top and the ambulance logo right here. And he's ready, he's crazy, and he's ready to rock and roll. Rock and roll. So, this is all the Series 4 die cast I here with me. And now we can open up the final one, which is the 2021 Series 2 box. So, let's open it up and see which racer, which character do I got, or which racers do I get. So, yes. Don't want to damage the box. Uh, oh shit. Well, doesn't matter anyways. The box started screwed. Now let's see who's the last character that I got for today. Oh, I got Ryan inside Laney from Team Blinker. Yes. So here it is, Ryan, right here. Hopefully, we could get the NASCAR version of Ryan inside Laney for the main one series. Hopefully, we could get it soon. But anyways, here it is. What do you look? Here it is from the from Team Blinker, the next gen version of him. Pretty cool looking. You got the rookie stickers on the back. The spoiler right here is just made of a hard plastic, so thank God for that. 
Ryan looks pretty good. I like this character a lot. So yeah, he does roll pretty well, of course. So yes. Let's bring all the mini racers right here closely for my final result for you guys. Overall, the mini racers are fun, tiny collectibles, die cast. I highly recommend it if you love Disney packs of cars or you don't have enough money to get you know the actual ones. You could get the small ones, and you can guys you, you can have like have like a giant collection of it. It doesn't matter. My favorite one is Doc Trottleman because he's Team Blinkers. Of course, I love the car blue. So yes. So yes. Hope you guys. If you guys want me to do review more of the my of the mini racers, please leave a comment down below. That which one do you guys want to review? Want me to review of? And that pretty much is it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, I'm out.